I'm originally of Jackson Terrace in Porua. My three sisters live there with my parents. I think they would have moved there around about 1952. They got a state house there. At the time, my father was working for Maori Affairs. Yeah, they had a um, yard providing building materials for projects around Poru. He um, was also playing rugby for the All Blacks. And in fact, in 1953, he toured the uh, UK with the All Blacks, and they were away for about six months. So Mum was living there uh, with the three girls. I wasn't born yet, and uh, so my memories are fairly sketchy of. Jackson Terrace. My dad was one of the few Maori All Blacks who had been not included in the South African side because of the fact that they were Maori. Mm. So um, that was always something that uh, was a issue for him, although he never uh, was politically interested in anything mm. like that. It was something obviously that pissed him off. He mm. went away to the Second World War and came back and uh, fought for the country and he um, basically wasn't good enough to be included in the team that went away to South Africa. Okay, so I was born in 56. We stayed in Jackson Terrace I think for about another three or four years and during that time and he was the milkman in Plymouth as well as working at Maori Affairs and he started building the side dairy and in the back of the east side dairy there's accommodation so we shifted from Jackson Terrace around about 1959 into the back of the shop and it was a milk bar and it sold ice cream and milkshakes and was a really popular place for the woodgies and the bodgies at the time so it was a, a place to hang out for young people. We stayed there for not long. My father also was a bookmaker. He was entrepreneurial. He was the TAB for Porua at the, at the time. And eventually that came to the attention of the uh, IRD and the <laughs> local police. So that enterprise came to an end. And it was around that time that we shifted from the east side dairy over to on Street and Chitai Bay. Now, he still owned the dairy during that period. At one point, he um, was made an offer by an Indian purchaser, so someone who was interested in buying the dairy. I remember one night, I was a teenager, I would have been about 15 or 16, and I was home on a Saturday night when um, the uh, phone rang and obviously someone had found out that he'd agreed to sell the shop to the first owner of the dairy after him and that was something that really obviously upset this person who rang at, at about 8.15 on a Saturday night and accused my father of being a traitor and selling out to Indian people and which because I guess the way in which my dad had been treated there was a certain element of racism in the way he'd been treated um, I took exception to the call and started um, abusing the caller back in no uncertain terms and I remember at the end of the call they said right I'm going to complain to the police about this you can't talk to me like this but of course we never heard anything from mm -hmm. from that caller again but I thought it was a I thought it was a, a bit of an irony.